GPT-4 just discovered something new through reasoning. But to understand that, we must first go over DeepMind's new AI, AlphaDev, an AI constructed to hunt down new and improved sorting and searching algorithms. The tech? Reinforcement learning. The same AI training method that made DeepMind king of the Go and chess world. AlphaDev's approach is brutal and basic. Starting from scratch, it builds up algorithms, step by step, constantly testing itself in a process that's more marathon than sprint. After some time in the crucible of trial and error, AlphaDev scored a big one. It cracked a more efficient sorting algorithm, a significant achievement considering humans have been whittling away at these sorts of optimization problems for decades. Enter GPT-4. Someone had the galaxy brain idea of prompting GPT-4 to scrutinize improvements in an existing sorting algorithm. And you know what? GPT-4 hit the jackpot too. It found the same novel algorithm, but unlike AlphaDev, it got there through reasoning. It approached the problem like a human would, rather than using the sledgehammer that is brute force. Keep in mind, GPT-4's training data only goes up to 2021, so it essentially discovered new knowledge, which is crazy. Next up, Microsoft has just unveiled Orca, a new small large language model. Yeah, I meant to say that, but don't let the oxymoron fool you. Despite having only 13 billion parameters, a drop in the ocean compared to GPT-3's 175 billion, and a mere molecule compared to the rumored 1 trillion of GPT-4, Orca stands tall, matching GPT-3's performance on a series of challenging evaluations. I know what you're thinking. We've heard similar claims before. Many pint-sized models have emerged, claiming to stand shoulder to shoulder with ChatGPT, only to have their promises evaporate when put to the test. Most do well in controlled, cherry-picked situations, but buckled when the heat is turned up. But Orca, my friends, appears to be the real deal. And here's the exciting part. It's doing so with a unique approach. While other models are fine-tuned on outputs from ChatGPT, essentially trying to mimic ChatGPT's responses, Orca takes a different path. Rather than just train on the correct output, Orca's training involved step-by-step -step reasoning and explanations provided by ChatGPT for each answer generated. It's like Orca wasn't just given the answers to the test, but the working out too. And guess what? Orca thrived on this method. Adding another layer to this fascinating development, Orca's performance significantly improved when it was first trained on GPT-3 and then on GPT-4 later. It's almost like Microsoft took a page out of human learning where we don't dive headfirst into the deep end, but gradually increase the level of difficulty. In other news, Meta released a new open source music generator called MusicGen. Creative. Given an input melody, it can recreate the song in any style, like hip-hop or 80s pop. On the video side of things, Runway ML just released Gen 2 to the public, their impressive text-to-video model. You can now bring your wildest sci-fi fantasies to life. Well, sort of. Just type in a scene description and watch it morph into reality before your very eyes. And guess what? You can try it for free. No, not the input your credit card details and we'll charge you if you forget to cancel kind of free. We're talking truly, completely free. And if you think that's impressive, take a look at this. That's a showcase of their Gen 1 model, capable of translating video to video. This AI is putting special effects artists out of business. 